Wee! We're back. No introductions. We'll just get the boys on. Ian, hello. Hello. Swappers, <laughs> hello. Hello. Z. Oh, we're back. We're back. Not Brian. Hello there. <laughs> right, okay. Um, yeah, my Photoshop skills are getting better. Cheers, uh, Time Profit. So, uh, Volume 161, Part 2. Should we get the slides on? So, where were we? Okay, so, um, I do believe uh, Luke was in Yoda's hut. Is that correct? Hit the hut. Yeah, so... R2's outside in the piss wet rain. What is that? I can't see that. I can't make that out. <laughs> it's R it's just you've just described it, Brown. It's R2 in the rain. Oh, it's, oh that's sad. the window, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Left him outside, poor burger. Was, can he not go in? Is it? Well, he couldn't fit in, could he? It's too big. Well, oh, yeah, yeah it's too big went, for the. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the went, just they just serve their kind in here. <laughs> <laughs> Your droids, they'll have to wait outside. Okay. He needs a wash anyway. He does. So, uh, what's happening on this scene here, boys? It's Luke being a little bit impatient, isn't he? He's been, yeah, he's been an impulsive, um, whiny brat. He's being tested, but he doesn't know he's being tested. That's right. See, this is what I thought Luke was doing with Ray in uh, that shitty movie, but no, that was uh, that, that's a yes, perfect that, that Thought exactly the same. Yeah, but it was the writer, though, wasn't it, that subverted that? Mm. Seems to be a um, subverted. Seems to be the word used a lot with modern Star Wars. It's all they've got, isn't it? No, the word <sighs> used in modern Star Wars was shit. That's, that's <laughs> <good>. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I wasn't actually expecting this because I, I was obviously speak up, at the time completely unaware of a Jedi Master could be so small and and so. Diminished. Green, mm. but that yeah. that was the beauty of the script, wasn't it? No, it was that was the beauty that was of it. Proper subversion. Yeah, yeah. But it was great but in, a, in a good way. Yeah, yeah. Subversion can write. Yeah. yeah. But that was the thing. He painted himself into a corner, old George Lucas, didn't he? Because when it came to the prequels, oh, was... that to basically make the Yoda jump around like <laughs> like a frog trying to take on Count Dugu. Do you remember that scene? That made me laugh so much. It was so ridiculous. But there you go. I saw that in Leicester Square, and when that happened, yeah. I, I, I've never seen this before because I, I've been only going to my local. The entire cinema cheered. I oh, did they? And I was I like, it's a bit ridiculous. But anyway. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever been to a cinema showing where the crowd have gone ballistic. Oh, I have many a time. I've just never experienced the pleasure of that. I, I've, I was part of that generation where people used to scream at the cinema and and just just enjoy the cinema experience. Wow! And I, it, I've never experienced it since since when I, when I was a kid. And, and when Empire Strikes Back started, uh, everyone was cheering. Twenty Century Fox came on; everybody was screaming with joy. The Star Wars thing comes on, everybody's screaming. It's just it's just fantastic. Would they be all looking at their phones now? No, well, with we didn't have phones stuff. in those days. With the with the modern uh, No, we had we had um we had uh, do you remember the, the square cones with the square ice cream in it? That's what we had. And yeah. um their little it was a carton with orange, you stick the straw in you drinking the orange and stuff. That's what we had, you know. And, I miss those days. Uh, really so you go. T there you go. Uh, Time Profit at Mr. Brown answers me. When I went to the cinema, nobody made a noise or they would be thrown out. Yeah. Exactly. Now, as, as I said, you know, cinema was very different for me um, when I was growing up. People laughed at Yoda, uh, it's Empire Strikes so Back, American. every joke. Every joke. That, no, it was, it was very different. Nobody was whooping or anything like that. They were just really whoop, whoop. into the film. Yeah. <clears throat> you know? How many times did you say you've seen this film at the cinema when it was out? Twenty. Twenty. Wow. I saw um 
Temple of Doom more. I think 21 times for Temple of Doom. Oh, geez. Loved it. Loved uh, it. Franco, I love those warm orange drinks. Yeah, I did. Oh, love. yeah. They were fantastic, weren't they? Tip yeah, tops. Warm, warm sugar. That's all you need when you're a kid. <laughs> Is this where he's saying uh, impatient? You no, are. he says adventure, excitement, a Jedi cries, not these things. That's what he says, basically. Okay. <laughs> he needs a good slap, though. Because that's what Jedi's do. <laughs> yeah. You are reckless. And what does Obi Wan say? Wasn't I? Blah, 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 blah. I can't remember the line. <laughs> was I any different when you taught me? Yeah, that was it. Yeah, that was it. I didn't teach you. <laughs> yeah. <Listen. laughs> yeah. Uh, Darius is <coughs> a soup sticker. Cheers, Darius. Soup sticker. Okay, he bangs so. his head, doesn't he? Bangs yeah. His head. Now. Irving Kirshner made him do that 16 times before he got it right. Because he didn't like it. He didn't <laughs> like it. So made him do it 16 times. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in outer space. Boom, boom. Oh, look at that. That's enhanced. Tie bombers and uh, bombs going off. Yeah. Did we see tie bombers in the original? Yes, swaps? We, they had a few. Yeah. They did. I think the ones in this one may have been. It might have been a few added, perhaps. Yeah, um, definitely enhanced. We can see across space now. You can see the 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 band of asteroid belt going across the mm. sky, which is incredible. Thought about tiny details like that as well, which adds so much depth to it. Such a good idea hiding in an asteroid. Yeah, such mm. a good idea. Um, did they say the asteroid was so big it had a slight atmosphere or did no, I no, this thing, no, he just said, um, getting closer to the, one of the big ones, he said, and everybody went closer. <laughs> yeah. Um, can they feel the ship moving yet? They can't, can they? No, no, it's not the, until uh, the Minoc hits yeah. the screen. Boom. All right, so that will be uh, stomach bacteria. I don't know what it is. Looks weird though. <laughs> yeah. This ground feels all. What was this? What did you say? This ground feels squishy. Is it squishy? Also, oh, yeah, squishy. And that's when he shoots shoots the, the floor, doesn't he? he Realise they're yeah. stuck in there. Yeah. Was that line um, he says? Uh, I can't remember. Sorry, Kerry. Uh, yeah. Time Prophet says, um, surely bombs would not fall down in space. Depends if they were pushed, so the inertia would make them. Oh, yeah, no. but you're being a bit pedantic because there's no sound in space either. So, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so. that's, a, that's a Last Jedi dig, that one. Uh, oh, okay. I know. I know. Yeah, no, it is. Cloaked. So I that's... No uh... time to discuss this with a committee. And she goes, I am not a committee. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. Yeah. Looks like uh, Silence of the Lamb blokes, Annabelle Hector, Hector with the mask. The caves collapsed in. So this, this is no cave. <laughs> this is a big winged kind of serpent thing. It's a Minox. Oh, okay. It's a Minox. Yeah. Chewing on the power cables. That's right. Bastards that they are. Uh, bots are in saying 84% AI. Well, I'm sorry, bots. I want 100% AI, so go mm -hmm. away. There goes, what are you saying there? Shoo, shoo, go away. Go sorry. away, go away, beastly thing. Shoo. <laughs> 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 this, is where it, this is where it moves, then, isn't it? Because he's just yeah. blasted it, and it's moving. And you go, oh. yeah. Sometimes you get an uh, upset stomach. You think it's Luke, a hand oh, nice shooting shot, your stomach, don't you? <laughs> it's hard. He shot your stomach. <laughs> yeah, look at that. The giveaway. Yeah. Sit down, sweetheart. We're taking off. Yeah. It just looks like a big sock puppet. It is. It is. A, it's, a, it's a hand puppet. It's a puppet. It's a puppet. Mm. But it really works, though, because they've got all these different mediums that they've used from um, 
map paintings, puppetry, stop motion, and mm. the blue screen tracking effects, and it all just melds together perfectly. Mm -hmm. Anyone know the that? name of that creature, by the way? Um, isn't he the alien chase ch chest bust burster that comes out of? <laughs> 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 that, yeah, you know, was it? Um, I can't remember his name there. The the thing is, it's all physical models. Mm. It's, the, uh, <laughs> the giant space slug is known as an exogorth. Is he? Is it, I was going to say Eric, but that's fine. It's a puppet. It's yeah. an exogorth. Mm. Who used to say that? It's a puppet. Brian Wasn't Connolly. it? Brian no, Connolly. was it? Oh, Rachel Blaine. That's, uh, that's, 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 that's for British. British yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Yeah. So, back on Dagobah, um, Luke... He's piggy back in. The train he's getting trained, mate. Unlike the Daisy character. She didn't need to train though, did she? No, she did not. Yeah. Mary Sue. Here we Here go. At Gandalf, it's a space wiener. It is. And Luke cuts his own head off. Here you go, Melvin. Uh, it looks like the plant from Little Shop of Horrors. It does. Feed me, Seymour, feed me now. Uh Franco, Brian Connolly, yeah. Mm. Uh, is this where we're going to see a lightsaber fight? Well, it's just, it's kind of a bit of a fight, isn't it? But according to L L uh, Lord Cord, the, this mm. isn't one. Well, I mean, he's kind of half right, isn't it? I mean, it is a fight, but it, it doesn't just, last very long. It's just fantasy, isn't it? But they get, yeah, their, yeah. They get, their, um, they get their things out. <laughs> their things out. <laughs> schlongs. Yeah. They get their fiery schlongs out. They get their swarts, swarts out. Schwartz. <laughs> schwartz. <laughs> just a hallucination, man. Not real. Uh, here you go. Uh, Franco, it's just an illusion. It's just an illusion. Great song. Yeah, yeah it's a it's a test, wasn't it, of um of Luke's ability, I guess. Dum 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 dum. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember what else. Well, uh, Yoda did tell him he doesn't need his weapon, but he took it with him anyway. So before he went in the tree, so he was trying to trying to trying to teach him something, but Luke wasn't listening. Yeah, he says to him like, "What will I find in there?" And Yoda says, mm, "Whatever well, you take like with you." With you. Yeah. yeah. So. Yoda. Mm. Poking the ground with his stick. That's Meanwhile, been enhanced, doesn't it? Back in space. Yeah, that's that so much cleaner, uh, isn't it? Yeah. Here you go. Tide Profit, just an illusion by imagination. Yeah, Birmingham's finest. Fantastic band. Mm. Moving on. Bounty hunters. We don't need their scum. Uh, and what did he say? He goes, yes, sir. <laughs> Isn't it? You guys, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, we see Bosk's like clawed feet over the edge of the yeah, pit. Don't we? It's yeah. so good. He looks looks up at him. And he's like, that's so cool. What's that like? That's, that's a spaceship outfit from Doctor Who. There is. Yeah, it is. Um, is I, it? I want Where? them alive. No disintegrations or whatever he says. Doesn't he? It's goes, such a shame that we as don't. You get wish. See, we don't get to see them beyond this scene, isn't it? I'd love to have seen more of them. And they changed it, bloody. Accent of, 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 of um, but oh, I couldn't believe it. I was like, "What? I like the other act. I like the other voice. Mm. Well, the original voice, yeah, yeah, so much better." No, they changed it to sound like all the clones, didn't they? It's ridiculous. Mm. Oh, George Lucas. Uh, Franco, he woke up in the shower, and it was all a dream. Da -da 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 Patrick Duffy. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> they should have just made it like. Boba Fett's helmet's a voice changer, basically. So he gets to uh, you know have a, a, an anonymity. Yeah. No oh, disintegrations, as you wish. <laughs> I prefer that voice so much. You sound, you sound exactly like him. <laughs> well, I like the bit where he goes. What is it? Um, oh, what's that robot? Yeah, yeah. he goes. Oh, that robot's gun, weird. Yeah. Did we see that in uh, Mandalorian? Mandalorian. No, it was IG eleven. Uh, is it? Uh, uh, same type. Yeah. Swap was correct. 
what if he doesn't survive? He's worth a lot to me. I remember that line as well. Yeah, great. Yeah, but I will compensate you if he dies. Yeah, IG88. Mm. The original and best Jeremy Bullock. I think Appion is a, a, a proper fan of this film. And oh, I found the Millennium Falcons. We found Thank them. Goodness, we're coming out of the asteroid field. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not as good as the um uh what is it? The what, purple purple haired woman yeah, that actually the, ran the out of petrol and <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh do you know what? I'm gonna say it one more time. Fuck them. You know what I mean? Fuck yep. them for destroying Star Wars. You they can never say that kiss enough. my ass, mm-hmm. all of them. Seriously. Uh, Time Prophet, Cal Clon, rest in peace. Uh, Franco, yes. Rest in peace, Cal Clon. He will be missed. I like how the hold on maneuver was a one in a million shot. So there was like 999,999 different ways that she just could have escaped and ran off. <sighs> she was responsible for majority of the rebels getting killed because of her stupid decision. Stupid purple-headed twat. You know what I mean? Seriously. <laughs> that's uh, any money that I was going to make from the stream. It's gone there, folks. Never mind. It was, um, yeah, it was, it was such a rare manoeuvre that uh, it got repeated in the very, six, the very next film at the end. Stupid. Z, what are you saying here? The odds of surviving a direct assault on an Imperial Star Destroyer. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Says Princess. Never tell me the odds. <laughs> No, he doesn't say it there. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Just turn it around. Put all the front, what is it? The shields in the front, whatever it is. I can't remember, he says. And, yeah. And they try to fire at it, yeah. Make sure you straight across, yeah. Um, They're moving into attack position. <laughs> <laughs> what? Magnificent <laughs> model work. Yeah, fantastic. The detail is mind-blowing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I always wanted a model of a Star Destroyer. I actually had Slave One, but it got destroyed by my brother. You mean you mean Boba Fett Starship? Yeah, I had it. It was a Revel. Um, was it Revel? Uh, yeah, kit German. Make it, yeah, Revel. Yeah, and I had to make it up, and it was, I did it really well. And then somebody sat on it. Bloody sat on my um, Enterprise model, and then he sat on my Star Wars model. What did you have them all lined up and he was just going along, sort of doing just sitting on me. Have you ever thought of becoming a single child? <laughs> Get another brother. Uh, I will say, uh, I think it's MPC have reissued a lot of the original Star Wars model kits from mm. when we were all kids. Um, I had the uh, Darth Vader TIE Fighter, which was fantastic. You know, the um, do you know the Nostromo if you I look closely. Yeah, if you look closely, they've got TIE fighters stuck at the bottom, the round bits they got from model kits, and they stuck it at the bottom. So if you look closely, it's a TIE Kit fighter. Fashion, yeah. Yeah, so cool. On there. So if you get the the model of the Nostromo, then you can see them. Um, it's in the film. Yeah, you can yeah. see you can see the TIE fighter. Um, so they've cut the TIE fighter in half, the, the round bit of the TIE fighter, and they stuck it at the bottom. So if you look closely, you can see them. So anyway. it should be on the model then, if it's accurate. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. That's like the Falcon being in Blade Runner as well. Like yes. Yeah. Uh, good uh, R2D2 good in good Star Trek as well. Very good shot. Yeah, R- the Falcon zooming past the window. Like it. Yeah. R2 was in the the Star Trek JJ. Yeah, film, JJ. Was it? Out the window. And R2 was in Closing Cows, stuck at the at bottom of the mothership. I know that. Uh, as well. Millennium Falcon was in Star Trek First Contact as well, somewhere in the background. So oh, it was, was it? in all those the, the movies. first battle. R2 mm. was in all those movies, but not the sequel trilogy. No, he was also in Raiders of Lost Ark <laughs> as well. He was also in Raiders of Lost Ark as well on a wall. Oh, yeah. It says, says it all then, doesn't it? It says it yeah. all. Okay. So the Millennium Falcon has just rammed them. Well, no, it just went oh. past them. Just went past them. Well, they it was like he was going to ram, ram them. Ram them. Yeah, yeah, and but he didn't. He had the little uh, trick. Uh, smuggler's trick than he used. Yeah. So we, we, he's going to go personally uh, deliver an apology to Vader. Yeah. I'd delegate that responsibility if I was him. Yeah. Is that Mr. Mackay there on the left? From, uh, oh, yeah. Fulton Mackay, yeah. Is that, 
No, nah, it's not him. It's too young. Oh, <laughs> that's a shame. It's Fraggle yeah. Rock fame. Yeah. Splog it. I saw a city that's in the clouds. That's great training, is that? I saw a city in the clouds. Yeah, it's not as good as floating in the air with loads of uh, stones floating around, you know, is it? Yeah. But there is that. Work. There is that. Yeah. Yeah, force flying. <laughs> The reason why Luke couldn't concentrate because he couldn't find a, a monster with, with, with titties and blue milk. That's the reason why. <laughs> <laughs> he, couldn't, he couldn't concentrate. He finally got his wish many yeah, years later. But see, this, this scene is really good because it's actually kind of wisdom here, isn't it? Yeah. The Norman. things that he says to, yeah, Norman wisdom. The things he says to, to Luke here, it's, it's, you know, it's fantastic. As a kid, I was like, ooh, that's clever. You know what I mean? So. Size Mars, not yeah, exactly. All that stuff. See you later. Oh, I, I, I still like the way. Bye, the, on. Take care, mate. Both yeah. the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy, using the Force does put a strain on you, mm. which is quite clear when um, in Episode Two when Yoda's saving Obi Wan from the rubble, uh, mm. and again here when they're lifting the ship, there is a physical thing. But when yeah. Ray uses it, it's like I don't know, breathing. Piece, well, just piece of piss in it. Yeah. Girl power. Well, don't uh, forget, she can, she can was green. go to another place as well just by thinking about it as well. You know, yeah, was it Kylo the... Ren's boudoir. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So she basically had Q's powers, didn't she? Yeah, rubbish. So he failed lifting that and then Yoda. Yeah, Yoda teaches him a lesson. That is where you fail. Yeah. He actually oh, failed. That, yeah, the concept of failing. Well, well. That well. is, that is a fantastic set piece. Mm. Look at the background there. The trees. All real. Just amazing. brilliant. The scale there with with Luke and uh, the surroundings. Yeah. It's just. I don't believe it. That is why you fail. But I never understood. See, he's on the ground, Yoda, and then when Luke goes back to him, he's on a tree. Hmm. Is that a continuity error there? Didn't notice. Interesting. Yeah. So this bit where it lands. So when he does his force thing, he's on the ground. He puts his hand up and he's on the ground. Then when Luke goes back to him and says, I don't believe it, he's on a fucking tree. I'm like, Ooh, okay. Uh, well, he can sell us all, can he, I suppose? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's very good. Or, so, or like uh, Grogu, he can transport, like tra uh, teleport himself. Uh, uh, maybe. Yeah. Time Prophet, Ray had the power to use to see it's impossible whenever she wanted. Yeah, exactly. And so do you if you subscribe to his channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here he's on the tree now. What the fuck? <laughs> that is why you fail. Yeah. Thanks, mate. <laughs> How am I going to get uh, all this shit off, mate? Yeah, exactly, exactly. If Yoda can lift a spaceship, he can land on a tree, yeah. Agreed. I'm pretty sure he could, yeah. yeah. That always fascinates me. I don't know if you guys remember this, when he says to him, um, you know, come to my place and get some food. And he goes, come, good food. And then there's that shot, that wide shot, where you see him walking. Do you remember that? And he has the torch in his hand. And he's Ooh. literally, you see all of him walking. I don't know how they did that. Did I get like a midget or something? Or Yes. No, Warwick, Warwick Davis. That was, was the, it? Um, that was somebody in a costume. It was literally right. the only human movement that he did during the course of the movie. Oh, uh, okay. yeah. But oh, wow. it really it really helped in the believability of the character is to actually see him move as a proper, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, as a proper character. Uh, cheers, Fat Gandalf. See you next time, friend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Meanwhile, back in space, Super Star Destroyer. This is where Princess Leia gives him a compliment and kisses him on the cheek. Wow. Apology accepted, Captain Nida. Nida. <laughs> um, Z, do you want to read Romeo's comment? I just did. I, <laughs> just I want you to read it again. Okay, Apology. here we go. Go on, go for it. Really go for it. <clears throat> Apology <clears throat> accepted, Captain Nida. Nice. Oh, very, so did you just put good. your hand over your mouth there, young man? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a half empty pint glass of vodka. <laughs> 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 That's hilarious. 
Uh, in the chat, new face, um, Major Brown. Sounds like, are we related? Uh, not going to lie, but the word the Empire Strikes Back sounds like the most awesome word they ever picked. Just... Well, it was called, well, it was Empire Strikes Back, wasn't it, originally? It was, you're mm. thinking Return of the Return Jedi. Of the Jedi. Was revenge yeah, it was of revenge. the Jedi. Yeah, it was yeah, revenge. Yeah. 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 Oh, a Jedi, a Jedi doesn't take revenge. My dad always used to say to me um, about Darth Vader, why has he got that tape recorder stuck to his chest? He always used to say that to me, <laughs> my dad. <laughs> well, I mean, why did Cybermen have a vending machine stuck to their that's chest? That's true. That's true too, isn't it? Yeah, sure. They've lost the Millennium Falcon, haven't they? They don't know where mm. they are at the moment. Mm. Genius. And they're just playing the long game. That is There's so many like smiling moments in this movie, isn't there? Where it's like, oh, that's great. Uh, that's spaceship P O N, sorry, P O R N. <laughs> it is, you're right. Mm. Lots of gray yeah. going on there. Oh, so they're, just, they're just very lucky that there's no windows on that section of the ship, they can look out and see. <laughs> He's you over there, Jeff. Look, look at him. I swear you knew where to park it, though, didn't he? You knew where to park it. Yeah. It's a, was it Lando? Lando system? No, Lando was a man. <laughs> so the rubbish has been uh, jettisoned, and yeah, it's going to um, float off, aren't they? Yeah, the the ship is farting or doing a poo, and then yeah, it tends to be a poo, basically, and floats away with them. Uh, not very environmental, throwing all the rubbish no, in not, space. Not, it? but the empire doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Do you, Do you think the uh, stop oil, sorry, stop rubbish in space brigade would be protesting? I think they would have sprayed um, Darth Vader with orange soup. I reckon. Yeah. Come slave one. There's, there's yeah, you can just see starship. slave one. Mm. Sorry, starship. Yeah, not it's not it's slave one. I don't care what anyone says. Sorry, uh, on this stream, it's starship. Yeah, you right. it's slave one. <laughs> Can't say slave. You get you get you get demonetized for that. Can't say. Uh huh. <laughs> love that design. I love mm -hmm. the way you think that it's you think it, the way it's going to fly, but it doesn't. It flies completely different to the way yeah. you think it will be going to fly. So it's really cool. I've never seen the film. I only seen the I only saw the toy box, and of course, mm. it's lying on its back, isn't it, on the toy box? Yeah, yeah. So yeah that's yeah. the way it flew, and then in yeah. the movie when I saw it, like, oh wow. Yeah. There he is, the original and the best, Boba Fett. He's got his viewfinder Such down. Badass. He is. Uh, nice and slim as well. Mm, yeah, not fat like the other one that came out of the hole. Yeah. Boba Fett. Boba Fett, yeah. So back on Dagobah. I saw a city near clouds. <laughs> yeah, it's Luke's vision. Mm. Mm, the future you see. So mm. poor R2. Falls. Yeah. This is beautiful. All the, the, the map Clouds paintings and, stuff, and the clouds yeah. and stuff. Yes, this really is all cool. added on in the background here. This is beautiful. This has all been um uh, yeah. new rendered, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Um as I said, guys, if you want to watch this copy, sorry, this version of Empire um commute sorry, on the about page, uh click the email and send us an email and uh, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get it sorted for you boys and girls. It is a fantastic version of Empire Strikes Back. This is the um, oh look at that the yeah. uh, the, the Han and Princess Leia theme playing here. They approach Cloud City. Yeah, yep. <laughs> it really is lovely and a lot more like the um, Ralph McQuarrie. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it is. Oh, Dark Side of the Walk's gonna love the shape of that city. <laughs> I love. I lo <laughs> there you go. I love um, Lando comes out. Why oh, you slimy? <laughs> yeah. Lando, Lando comes out. <laughs> when, yeah, comes out. He comes out as uh, robo sexual, I, doesn't he? I thought that yeah. was in Hans. I thought that was Solo. Lost Money. He came out. Yeah, I yeah, don't even it, consider that part of Star Wars. None of that shit's part of Star Wars. In my no, in this one, he doesn't f robots. No, he doesn't. 
and, and, and what a stupid idea in the last film to put Lando in the same clothes he wore like 20 years ago. It's so fucking retarded. It really mm-hmm. is. Just goes to, oh. it basically illustrates the mentality behind Disney Wars, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you know who was originally going to play Lando? Disney Wars. <laughs> who, 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 who? Uh, Yafet Koto from the Alien. Oh, oh wow! Koto. Koto. But he oh. um, he turned it down because he thought the character would be killed. Oh, I see. Well, like he was an alien. And yeah. uh, James Bond, he got blown there up, go. didn't he? Literally. Bishop, Walk City, uh, Ego, Dark Side. It's a giant walk in the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> Double sided as well. Dun, 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 dun. Would you like to see the Ralph McQuarrie still of this? Oh yeah! Look at that! Brilliant! God, damn it! Looks, looks, looks like the mothership turned upside I, down. I never yeah. understood the twin was... cloud, cloud cars. What if one of them went left and the other one went right? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, well, well, I mean. That could happen. <laughs> now, I've got I a feeling that... that, that one's a they're, pilot, they're... one's a gunner. Yeah, well, no, but I've got a feeling that, that that ship is made for something, like to push something or to lift something. You know what I mean? That's why i got the feeling. It's made That's why it's shaped that way. It's made to do something rather than just fly. It's made I... for husband, husbands and wife that husbands and wife <laughs> that yeah. love to work together. Ralph Macquarie, amazing. So they're approaching Cloud City. Mm. God, that looks oh, real. You're a slimy, no good. <laughs> <coughs> I love all the uh, uh, the gas venting going on on the on the Falcon yeah. in this bit. Yeah. Here you go, boys. Yeah, that's it. That's the that's the map painting that they originally used. Mm. And then they re- and then uh, only, uh, only one replaced a few of bits in it. So. What a difference. Yeah. Mm. But it was a lot more detailed in the special editions as well. Yes, yes, as well. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think that's one of the things the special editions really did credit with was best. Mm-hmm. 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 They did. Whereas other things, you you know, you, you you see scenes in special editions, and they they did do anything, and you think, well, they shouldn't have been there in the first place, like switching around the the Han and Greedo thing. But this just made it ever so much more magnificent. Even the windows at, in Cloud City. Yeah. They've re- they've replaced those with some digital constructs. It looks so mm. much better. But I think um, I think what people have to realize now, when they create some, when they create an IP that's really successful, um, and it's been years being successful, they really need to listen to the fans. I mean, not completely, and not the customers ludicrous, ludicrous things that fans sometimes say, but really listen to the fans customers. that make sense. And no fans that make sense to 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 them and just try and comply or try and reach them hard, um, halfway because they are responsible for the success do you know what mm. i mean and uh, and look he's not the only black guy in star wars there's another two right. in that picture i My had dad. the black best best being guard as an action figure. i did too yeah i did too. yeah I had that. and the chinese guy who's on the right there behind the um the, the the black uh, the guy the bullet guy he had a name didn't he i can't remember the name mr day. strickland i think it was <laughs> Lobot. Is that his Lobot. name? Yeah, yeah, short for lobotomy. And he's listening to um music there, isn't he? he couldn't give a shit what's going on. <laughs> Heart <laughs> very, FM. Very flash Gordon. <laughs> what FM? Heart, Heart. Heart. Heart <laughs> FM. <laughs> um I don't know if you said uh very flash Gordon. It is, yeah. Yeah. Because he controls him from his Apple Watch. He does a bit, yeah. He does, yeah. He does. <laughs> But I mean, the, the, this costume worked for this, but then, oh, God, why, what did they do? Just, yeah, terrible. Just, just there you go, time profit, bold guy with dodgy seventies headphones. Yeah, he was listening to the uh, the Best Bin Broadcasting Corporation. Mm-hmm. But yeah, what's his name? Um, Billy D. Williams, good looking chap, man. Good looking chap. He was the smoothest motherfucker in the galaxy. He was indeed. I absolutely love Lando. As and what did they turn him into oh, in the other one? Be careful. Oh, seriously. You've got a lot of nerve coming back here. 
<laughs> yeah. So cool. The thing is, when I watched this originally, when mm. I was, I don't know, say 14, 15, mm. I wouldn't have even thought about a representation. No, no one did. No, one. No. Nobody did. Whereas now they'd be like, He's the first Journals black man in Star Wars ever. Magazines and accompanying, mm. you know, it's like, what? This is an important but moment for it, for for colored and non-white individuals. It's not white normative. So uh, the thing is, though, there's a POC on the left. There's Billy D, and it looks like there's behind the uh, another black guy, isn't it? Behind him, yeah. Yeah, and the and there's um. It looks like maybe from Japan or China. Yeah. Um, Representation. The thing is, though, you know, there's one good thing about what's happening today is that, yeah, um, they are thinking of pushing people of color forward in stuff, but they're doing it all wrong. They're literally giving them hand me downs, and I just I can't stand it. I who really said can't. Uh, again? We said who said uh, sloppy seconds? That was uh, Eric July. Yeah, Eric July said hand me downs as well. Yeah. It's all true. You got it absolutely nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. I, as I said, going back to what I said, I would not have, wouldn't have even crossed my mind. No, nope. mm. it's a shame, um, Matt, because they don't have numbers on the doors. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Earth, is it? So they, they, yeah. they, if they did, they would be some kind of weird-looking. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. All I cared about from the characters was just like how cool their action figures were, mm. and and how amazingly psychedelically uh cleaning fluidly smelling the type of pilot was <laughs> i just remember getting that out of the packet and giving it a good sniff and getting high for about five minutes <laughs> what have you wow. done to my ship wow. your ship you lost it to me fair and square <laughs> it's, it's a race ship though isn't it uh, no it's not shut up <laughs> who yeah exactly that's the millennial flamingo, Brown. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> what did you say, Han, you old... Good How state. you doing, you old pirate? Yeah. <laughs> and what did they do after the, the last film where Air was happily ever after, where Han got, you know, got <clears throat> Princess Leia and all that? They destroyed all that. For what? For what? Just... Um, I don't know. Uh, Time Profit enjoys listening to these streams on the toilet. Okay. Well, I'm actually broadcasting from the uh, the toilet right now. <laughs> <laughs> from from one toilet to another. Um, you can actually appreciate it from other seated positions as well, in case anyone's wondering. Oh, she looks Car she, pretty ca cute there, doesn't she? <sighs> Carrie. Carrie. She was just amazing in this film, man. Oh. Well, this, this and Jedi, she was just... Oh. Going back to what we said about... Uh, Harrison doing the doings. Mm. She just oozes. Yeah, effortless. You can, yeah, you can, it just oozes it. You can just tell. Mm. When okay, the okay. day when the day comes <laughs> when I finally get a girlfriend, I want her to have a, a plats like Princess Leia. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't would have to be happy with a pulse. Just, <laughs> yeah, you can just you could just feel the chemistry. You can it's just th it's thick. I do, I do remember her with that huge gun in Blues Brothers, though, trying to kill. Um... Yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious. She was really I think good, the yeah. the affair they had was during Star Wars, according to Carrie. Uh, was it? It was an Empire. No, I don't. Know, I think the Empire they both kind of. I think it was it's Empire, about... was it not? Yeah, and in her book, in her book, she did it. She said it was oh, okay. during Star Wars. Wow, oh, yeah, she's only yeah. nineteen there, though. Yeah. Lucky. She was 19, <sighs> was she not? Because there was apparently a, a whole load of, kind of wow. exec, uh, staff and execs all kind of round about her and she had a few drinks and uh, Han Solo saved her, took her away and then uh, made, yeah, a, woman, then out, made a woman out of her. Oh, I don't know. This is where 3PO gets blanked as well, doesn't he? A la yeah. Sunak yeah. Hancock. He always does. He always <laughs> does. He always does. What have we here? <laughs> you smooth motherfucker. I love you. 
Steady hand. Was he, what he should have said steady, That's Landon. That's beautiful. Back, that not is. a robot. That is a beautiful shot. <laughs> it is. They just went out of the way to destroy the beloved characters. Destroyed Lando. Oh, destroyed Han. Kathleen did. Kathleen. All of them, yeah. What does he? What does the silver one say to see through Pierre? It sounded it really rude. Tender. And what does that it mean? I wonder. How rude. Hmm? I wonder what that means. It means jizz monkey. <laughs> <laughs> there, there are t uh, three protocol droids in this movie. The one in the Rebel base was called K3PO, and this one is called nice. E3PO. So right. they, are, they are, in fact, cousins that I managed to get acting gigs for. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Very like TC-14 from Phantom Menace. Yeah. Are they about Bigger boys. Now? Uh, a Romeo, a Romeo, Tango, November, Zulu. Hail, Brown, an epic stream. Here's some dosh for a well-deserved pint. Hail to the chat, panel, and our host. Let's raise a glass to more of these. Wish I could. Cheers, RRTNZ. With let's, comments let's like that, it, it can come again. McDonald's deliver at this hour, does it? Uh, actually, it does, McDonald's. Especially around my area. <laughs> I can't eat anything now. I won't be able to sleep if I eat stuff now. It's lucky yeah. because um, the, uh, the Anthony Daniels was so appreciative of this costume because half of it was made of rubber. Yes, and, it was uh, European yeah. rubber, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Previously, it was hard casted. That's right. Yeah, it was a it was a nightmare. He said the first one, but this one was much better. Especially the uh, the bottom bit was was. Um, rubbery, so his ass wasn't hurting him all the time. That sounds <laughs> like an R2 unit in here. <laughs> this chicken is rubbery. Oh, oh thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. <laughs> he gets blown, we? doesn't he? Sorry? <laughs> he gets blown. <laughs> oh. yeah. See, did you, get, did you get blown in this film? Oh, to pieces, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely saved. There you go. Speak of the devil. Heads off. Uh, and that, that, what you call it, a stupid Wookiee didn't, didn't suspect anything. <laughs> Just went, and looked around the corner, and that was it, and he left. There's some top quality 80s art text there on the right. There is indeed. It's beautiful, indeed. isn't it? Mm. I love the colours on Bespin, even though the walls are kind of white and pristine. We're getting this beautiful glow from outside. Mm. Look. You must complete the training. There is another. I remember when we, I saw, I, again, I tell you, I saw it 20 times in my friends at school, our geeky club, and everybody was speculating, who's the other? Who's the other one? I remember when this film came out, everybody was like, oh, yeah, I, bet it's, I bet it's another Jedi that lives in another planet. None of us thought it was Princess Leia. None of us. No, it's Ezra Bridger. <laughs> uh -huh. God, I don't think at the time they thought it was Princess Leia either. No, no it's no. so Jatano. Uh, here you go, Time Profit. We did mention this earlier. Has anyone checked to see if Z3PO has the silver leg? He does. Movie? He does. In this version, he does, yes. He does, yeah. He does. A story uh, for another day. Mm. Yes. Uh, Wookie Fever presents. Hello, mate. Mm. Heel Wookie. I'd love one of those. X Wing fighters that size packed out in the backyard. Where does he put that step then when he goes up? It doesn't look like there's any room to put that step anywhere in the ship. Weird. That's a good point because obviously in the base you can see they just take it off and store it, but weird. Yeah, where? Yeah. That this leads to the dark side, Luke. This version just looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it does. Look at that. That's happening. Look at that, folks. Around him. He's eating his ready break, isn't he? There you go. And he didn't. Uh, he did. Sir Halleck did, didn't want to come back. He said. He didn't no, want to come I back. They was, wasn't sure if he was going to be able to come back for this movie. <laughs> Mm. Not because of any scheduling conflicts, but he had an operation on one of his eyes. You 
will become an agent of evil. Mm, we didn't. He almost did, though. He did. But he's such a hero. He fought against it. Uh, Time Prophet, Sir Alec didn't like Star Wars. He hated it. I'm sure his bank account didn't, though. What, the first one? Yeah, the he hated one. the first one. He didn't. He didn't understand it. Really? Yeah. Because all the yeah. ports, like, all the even on um, on what you call it on on Parkinson, he said he, he after he saw the film, he didn't. He thought it was quite good. So yeah, I thought I, I thought that as well. Was it not so much the, the kind of interviews and publicity that he didn't like to be asked about it? He got yeah, yeah, it was all that. Yeah. Because I think because, it was like just completely ignoring the rest of his his movies. Yeah, because on, on Parkinson, he said that he, when he read the script, he didn't understand it. The only person that he could relate to was Obi Wan because it reminded him of Lord of the Rings, the person in Lord of the Rings, which I can't remember now offhand. Gandalf. So that's why he did it. Yeah, that's why he did it. Didn't um, a young kid uh, ask for Alex um, autograph? And right. uh, it, was, it was something to do with. Um, he said he wouldn't. He got the kid that I will give you an autograph if you never watch Star Wars again. That was the deal. Really? Yeah. I think the kid said he'd seen it like 10 times or something. Yeah. It's that kid, Ryan Johnson, and that's why he can't remember anything. Probably. <laughs> so it's Alex's fault. He said, Moving on. Listen, kid, why is your head so round? That's <laughs> really what he said. <laughs> wow. That's what he said. Uh, Ego, folks. Uh, Tim, I like saying this, Hannabon. No one knew this movie was good, not even George Lucas. No, George Lucas knew it was good. I don't understand where this is coming from. I've seen so many documentaries on this. They were proud of this film. George Lucas was very proud of it. Even though he was going through a shitty time in his life because he was divorcing his wife and all that, that stuff. That was Marcia, so. wasn't it? Who yeah. saved Star Wars. Star Wars, yeah. So it was going. He was going for a shitty Indiana. time, yeah. But I mean, he did have faith in it because he mor he mortgaged his house, I think, twice or something like that to actually get this film off the ground. Um, Tim, I like saying this. Hannah Bomb, he goes back on himself. Mm, I meant a new hope. Sorry. Yeah. Well, he he almost had a breakdown when he was when he was making Star Wars, didn't he? Almost. He had, to, he had to step away. That's why he didn't go to the premiere of Star Wars. He thought it was going to fail. That boy is our last hope. <laughs> oh. no, there was a sexy That's other. <laughs> God damn. damn. Oh, I just adjust myself. <laughs> put it put it away, Matt. Put it away. <laughs> Sorry, can you see it? Slayer and best spend <laughs> fatigues. Just. Oh. oh. Oof. Harry, amazing. There you go, Z. You That's what's left here. Backwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, that looks like my history teacher. No, is that still? <laughs> looks a bit like him, actually. <laughs> it's an Ognor, one of the same species as Nick Nolte's character in. All right, okay, very good. Brown has spoken. Mm. Uh, you can see that none of them were concerned about Free Pierre. Can you put him back together? They didn't care how he got shot or anything like that. No. Just try and put him back together. <laughs> I always wondered after they sat down when Darth Vader went, We'd be honored if you would join us. And they all sat down to eat. Did Darth Vader go, can you pass the celery or something like that? <laughs> or <laughs> pass Robot the sauce, did please? Great, Robot Chicken did that sketch of what happened as soon as the door closed. They, they, All right. really, really funny. Would actually. any of you like starters? <laughs> <laughs> Is this where he's, he's, uh, he's giving them the tour and he's asking, how do you protect yourself from the Empire? Yeah, and he says made a something. deal with the Empire. Yeah, that one. Yeah. That, yeah. And then... And then the door opens, isn't it? And then uh, the Wookiee makes a growling noise. See, look, he's got he's got set place and everything, you know. How he's good ready, is that? He's ready for them. Yeah, it's ready for them. I wonder how Darth Vader eats. Carefully. Carefully. <laughs> very, very, very trickily. Through I a secret, uh, secret soup. to 
humor <laughs> timing timing of course but is it is it like um uh, space balls where he opens that grate and he drinks his coffee is it like that he opens a little grate drinks his coffee is it like that i don't know uh no <laughs> he has to take his whole helmet off to drink i guess uh franco who ordered the salmon <laughs> <laughs> We would be honoured if you would join us. Every, every shot looks just so fantastic. And he's, he's he can play them some music off his little tape deck in front of his chest. There. <laughs> 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 this is where uh, Solo does the blaster, and he just picks it up. He just pants off it. his hands, yeah. didn't he? Pants off yeah. his hands, and then grabs it. Wait, wait! I've got just the thing. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Fred, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ben Affleck joins them. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what's on those ta on the table. What's on the table? Does it look like any food on the table? No, well, it, not really. It, look, it looks like he was expecting them to sit down and have dinner with him. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Bit, yeah. I'm fucking starved. <laughs> no, I've just got you all coffee. Will you want to <laughs> sit down and have a chat? Before I torture you, you can have some jam tarts. <laughs> uh, Melvin, like... Vader res uh, resembles a bishop chess piece. <coughs> wow. Mm. Well, you can only move diagonally. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, Boba yes. Fett turns up as well. Jeremy. Yeah, yeah I love it. Love his gun as well. Yeah. That's proper Boba Fett right there. Jeremy's got two parts in this film. He has. He has. Yes. Yeah, I thought that was really good, that. And what in the of the Sith as well. It's such a shame they took it away from him, though. It's such a off. shame. Yeah, it is. It, and, yeah. Anyway. Look at that. Awesome that is. All the Stormtroopers. I remember the first time I saw a clip from Empire Strikes Back was from... Michael Rod showed the clip on, I can't remember what show it was on BBC One. And he said, here for the first time on British TV is a clip from Empire Strikes Back. And it was the scene where Luke was on Cloud City and he comes and the uh, stormtroopers start firing at him. And I was like that, I've got to see this film. <laughs> I've got to see this film. It's enough to make me quite excited, actually. You didn't think it was a musical? Obviously, I saw Star Wars and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> knew it wasn't a musical. <laughs> Luke is on his way, isn't he? On his way back. Yeah. He's got some Hoover parts there, isn't he? Yeah. Like... <laughs> oh, look at that. New shot, new shot, new shot. So we don't know in this film the time scale because we don't know how long he's been on Dagobah. We don't know how long Han and Leia were on the Falcon because the hyperdrive wasn't working. So it could have been months that this was all taking place. Uh, I uh, well, it, uh, in the film, it's like it, it was only a day or so. Yeah, That's the impression yeah. I got. But it would have, but they said, you know, it'll have to. We'll we'll take. It's going to take us ages to get to wherever. Mm. So it could have, and over that distance, if you work it out, it would have been like ages and ages. It would have been like months. They would have been on the Falcon for fucking yonks, and uh, Luke would have been, which means Luke would have been training for months on Dagobah. Mm. Whereas it looks like it's just been like a day or a few hours. Where, where yeah, 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 yeah. Wasn't yeah. the case. Yeah, I love the toy they made of this. Do you remember? The yeah, people you could take to bits. Oh, yeah. that came with a little plastic, yeah, kind of backpack you stick on Chewbacca. Arms, legs, head come off, and you got a little yeah. black net to put them on Chewbacca's back. I never took and his this... head off. Though. I never thought you could take his head off. But... And this is um Chewbacca. Oh no, with... you couldn't. Sorry, my bad. With his hair not combed. The yeah. first time you see Chewbacca with his hair not combed. <laughs> That was one of the first times, and the Periscope R2, the first times they got us to buy the same figure twice, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Variants. Solo's mm. getting tortured. Lando's. What's the deal? That deal he made with him? This is not what we agreed to, he says to Vader. Yeah. I am altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further, he says. They're fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Boba Fett looks bad. Yeah, he does. Fuck. This is where he's saying the deal, isn't it? Mm. I feel terrible. 
Yeah. Just look a bit peaky, doesn't they? They didn't even ask him any questions. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, could be worse. <laughs> they could have cut his arm off. Didn't do anything to him, really, yeah. let's face it. They're, they're after someone called Skywalker. What? <laughs> But then again, um, um, uh, Lando was just doing it to save them, really. Yeah. Um, let's face it, he 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 didn't know they knew Skywalker because he knew Darth Vader was after a person called Skywalker, and but he was just concerned how he could save Han and 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 you know just basically Han really. But um, yeah, it wasn't his fault really when you think about it. Well, he's trying to protect the city as well, wasn't he? Yeah, that's right as well. Yeah. Standing citizen. So I think they tried to attack Landau, and uh, yeah, Han tries to to, yeah. to hit. Um, yeah, Landau and, and end the yeah. guard react, don't they? Yeah, mm. knock him for six. Is this way he's saying that we're going to get you out of here? I think this is where they're saying, you're the first black person in a film, aren't you? <laughs> Probably they're saying that. Love this scene. Love the way it's lit. Love all the smoke. Just yeah, love the, it. The, uh, the carbonite chamber, the, yeah. the, the orange glow with the, the blue ambient lighting is just incredible, mm, isn't it? Fantastic. It made so many memorable images of mm. on the, the card backs for the action figures and just images and snapshots from this movie. You know exactly what film it's from and which part of the movie and everything just from those colours. Yeah. This was where um, Ford th thought his part was over then, wasn't it? Well, he wanted it to be. You know, but George was very stubborn. said, nope. Yeah. Okay, so Luke's approaching. We will test it on Captain Solo. Uh, Franco, the sets are stunning. They are. Uh, here you go. Aftermath, a new face. Hello. Sad that Landau had to resort to malt liquor commercials to keep Cloud City afloat. Mm hmm. Put him in. <laughs> yeah. It's worth a lot to me. And that's why everybody loves Boba Fett, because he's the only guy to sass Darth Vader. Just doesn't sass. Care, does he? he doesn't care, does he? No, he absolutely does not fear him at all. He's just concerned about, bitch, pay me. <laughs> and this is where it starts to get really, really improvised now, isn't it? <laughs> Oi. So it's a bit of a skirmish. There's a much debated part when he stops Boba Fett from shooting. Stop, stop, stop. The princess, you got to look after her, he says yeah. to him. This is the bit where he says the famous line. Yeah. All I love you. Lies. I know. <laughs> Obviously, the music. Da -da -da -da. All that going. Mm. Just, oh. oh it was a bit of a famous line. Bit of a shocking continuity error in this originally, and they didn't change it until they blew the DVD release in 2004. Which was? What was that? Yes, well, you see it in the next one, the next slides that come up. He's actually wearing his jacket or his waistcoat. Hmm. 
and they had to change it so right, his shoulders. So, if you look closely, right. you'll see, not in this one, and it's a close up. You'll notice the shoulders have been changed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Changed I love white. you. I know. And as um, the guy altered it on here. I don't, I don't I know, know if he's doesn't look as if he's done anything to it because I mean it was already done in 2004. That was the same year they took uh, Vader's eyebrows off in the Return of the Jedi. See? <laughs> Luke, help me take these eyebrows off. <laughs> Leave me. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of smoke there, innit? We're just talking to Pops, innit? Right here. Wow. It's like a bloody Cliff Richard concert, that. Yeah. <laughs> Duran Duran comes you. out. He <laughs> <laughs> should have edited it so his, so his wrist binders came off before he went into the carbon freeze as well. Ah. Uh, well, I suspect when he goes to the carbon freeze, when it freezes, the wristbands get frozen and it just breaks off him and he puts his hands up like that. Oh, no. <laughs> and that's how he got frozen. There you go. They got a fridge with that on it, you know? They have, yes. Yeah. yeah, a fridge with Tom uh, <laughs> And Silo's face. I've seen a shower cotton with it as well. Have you? <laughs> no reason. There you go. I can't um, see. He's yeah, alive. The night, the the night sickness. <laughs> he's listening to his music. Yeah. <laughs> In the background. But there's some. Uh, Visual communication going off with them, yeah, between it does, them, yeah. There's some signals, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Lando's got like a wrist device, doesn't he? That he, yeah. that he communicates with him with. It's got an Apple phone, isn't he? Yeah. I think that's really when Lando decides, I've had enough, mm. so it really yeah, starts to turn. That was that, I, that, I, that was really good the way they did that. Where it was floating, mm. I was like, How the anti grav uh, trolley, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right, they do that. Fantastic set. Simple, but really like good. 70s. It's a bit 70 ish. Boba Fett is bad, isn't it? Yeah, but that 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 um pers- perspective on that laser is completely wrong. It's a little bit off, yeah. Yeah, it's right off, mate. <laughs> right off. Should be coming towards us, not going to the right. There's a couple of shots like that towards the end as well. Yeah. Yeah. Lando shooting. There's a worse one actually cut it out. Mm. They are supposed to be shooting at the stormtroopers, and it's miles off. Mm. Well, in those days, it wasn't done by computer, was it? Perspective-wise, it was done uh, as an animation. So, I don't think. It, and well, the photographs that I'm talking about, I think it was more more to do with where they were pointing the camera and where they eventually put the sets and things, rather than. The actual right. animation, because she's putting the gun almost right up in the air, mm. far away from where she should be. So here we go. Hot oh, girls in your area. It's <laughs> 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 like, right? listen to his music, like, oh, fuck, is a call. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. That was a really good audio book, for fuck's sake. Yeah, exactly. That's Jeremy Bullock. Mm. Yeah, Bob Fett again, yeah. Turn around, you big woolly. It's a trap! Don't go, Luke, it's a trap! It's, <laughs> a, it's, it's a trap! Oh, <laughs> 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 you can down. get through. Yeah, yeah you can get through. So the Force is with good. you, young Skywalker. You're not I a like Jedi it. yet. Fucking awesome line. Look at that stance. Mm. Speak up. It just looks like a, an evil spectre, doesn't it? Mm. The orange and the blues just look fabulous. Yeah, it's just iconic, isn't it? Those cutouts in the steps as well. Easy, boys. <laughs> I found some of the one mild criticism, some of the cuts between Bob Anderson and David Prowse to be quite, quite jarring things. Mm. It's quite obvious when you see them. Yeah. Difference in stature. Uh, here you go. 
aftermath, Vader immediately takes the high ground. Yes. <laughs> That's why none of it makes any sense. Like, you know, in, in um, Rogue One, where he's lifting people and throwing them just by the, the, the force. I mean, like, why didn't he do this to Luke here? You know, they just really kind of spoilt him, really. Let's face mm -hmm. it, Vader. Mm -hmm. It, well, he didn't want to kill him, did he? He was just toying with him. He wanted to, yeah, so, no. yeah but he, he he needed he needed to um, basically, you know, stop him. He could have easily stopped him if he had that power that they had, and you know, in 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 the uh, Rogue One. So it doesn't make any sense, really. Well, he was, anyway. it was kind of he was testing him to see what he's capable of. He? I guess I don't know if he's worthy to be recruited as his apprentice. Yeah, but it's his son, though, isn't he? <laughs> uh, Boba Fett doing a bit of moonlighting. Mm. I think is, is he not in Smithers in Spy Love Me? How's the arm, Smithers? It was in the Spy Love Me in the uh, submarine, wasn't it? That's it. I would say it must have been Moonraker then. Or something. You know, you remember he had a plaster on his hand, plaster cast, and then. This, oh the yeah, the, uh, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. weapon thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. In Q's place, quite interesting. Uh, looks like there's Mario, you know, from Super Mario in the background. <laughs> it probably is him. <laughs> it's a me, a Mario. What's he say? Take him to the town, keep it quiet, something like that. Did yeah. he say that? I can't remember. It has uh, to be Z, a mistake. What about that for a position? <laughs> <laughs> He's not here. I don't know where he's he gone. Shut down. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm just wondering how I managed to get my legs up by my ears. I, can't, <laughs> I tried doing that the other night. Can you do it now? No. <laughs> not at all. Put my back out. I, I noticed that uh, Lando hasn't got any sexual intentions towards uh, C3PO. So that no, was, uh, exactly. He's, he's waiting until I've got a couple of ribs removed. <laughs> <laughs> Trust him, trust him. There you go. Put Captain Solo in the car. Go oh, the hold. <laughs> and then they changed it to that stupid accent. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. No Here you go, folks. Look at that. Just just take that in. Oh. That's what she said. Bad. Bad. Then the Mandalorian kind of ruined that, didn't he? Yes. What up next What's... is the other 15 carbonite fucking captures. This is Starship. Yes. And doesn't it look fabulous? I'm <laughs> uh, just saying, a jumpsuit. Um, this, is, this is good acting. I'll give her that. Oh, look at that. It's the engine noise of uh, Starship, which is fantastic. <laughs> Moving on. Look at look at um, look at that. um that is acting. Look at look that. at, um, look at uh, um, Lando in the background. He's like he's just taking a rest, isn't it? <laughs> he's, he's like oh, literally oh, just right. going, "Oh my back! <laughs> oh my back! Oh, he's actually back in. he's actually Pervin on R two D two. If you look closely." <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. No, he's uh, got a bad back. I recognise that stance. Oh, me, me piled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, carry, carry, carry. Yeah, that's that's way off. That that's ridiculous. That pers perspective there on that laser. A bit rubbish. Oh, well. What a lovely bottom shot. <laughs> oh yes, I didn't noticed. Oh, yeah. Can you go back one? I, I missed that. Just... Your destiny lies with me, Skywalker. <sighs> Darth Vader flying. Yeah. <laughs> flying Darth. Flying Darth. Yeah. All too easy. He presses that switch. That's the shot to me. Just You can tell it's Bob Anderson on my love. Mm. 
Sonny's breathing like Darth Vader. Who is it? Z. He's asleep, isn't he? He's gone to sleep. No, I'm time. not gone to sleep. <laughs> He's gone to sleep. Somebody's gone to sleep. I can hear him snoring. <laughs> And then he flies out, oh, don't he? Blink and you miss easy. it. Mm. They used a the mannequin or something, didn't they, for that bit? Yeah. I was cheering in the cinema for Luke when I first saw this. I was oh, like, yeah. yeah, Luke, beat the crap out of him. Uh, Cam comes in. I saw you, Cam Cam. Hello, mate. Good to see you. Hello. Romeo, Romeo, Tango. November Zulu's comment there is quite good. Boba Fett Starship Prisoners in Employment One. All right, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Disney Basic Wage Employment One. Yeah, Luke is fighting with two hands. Darth Vader's just using one. How cool is that? He's yeah. Bad. Mm. So it kicks, is a gr it's great battle. Kicks Darth Vader's ass there. Yeah. Well, Darth Vader's no one's fool, mate. I tell you. Oof, to take that. Look at the head. Yeah. Phone box. I think they've actually flipped that image. That should be the other way around. Mm -hmm. Just make it fit in. Uh, here you go, Franco. Luke hasn't a chance. He hasn't. He's just bad motherfucker, eh? He's just chase, chasing shadows at this point, isn't he? Mm. Aside from this scene, the here, window as well. Luke goes outside the window. Mark Hamill actually did all of his stunts for this movie. Wow! Except this one. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, it was a, a gymnast that did that. He did a big flip and then he went backwards and then went for it. Great man, just took, took the yeah. bit where he just went for it. Yeah. Uh, Time Prophet is here all week. I hope Luke gives Darth a hand. So do I, mate. <laughs> Give the man a hand. <laughs> I remember when I saw this in the flea pit cinema and Darth Vader went, no, I am your father. There was a couple of black guys in the background going, no! Nah! <laughs> 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 that really adds to the whole experience, though, doesn't it? What's that? Uh, that really adds to the whole experience. Yeah, right? it's so funny. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here you go, Cam Cam. Uh, hello, Brown. That's me. Good to see you. Is that Z three PO and Swappers? Hello, gents. Oh. Oh, hello. Cam Cam in the chat says. <laughs> <laughs> R two. You can tell the computer. Uh, I can't remember what you said to R two. Tell him to override <laughs> the thing or whatever. Updated it is. the script for us. Uh, oh, look at that. Yeah. If it was in 2022. Here you go. I'm your mother. <laughs> Do you know what, right? Luke, they all stop. They them, your mother. They, they yeah. all stop, don't they, when he makes that announcement, all of them. If this yeah. was today, they'll be on their phones and wouldn't even give a toss what he's seen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was show. a 19, was that the 1997 edition? The brother yeah. in. I don't know if yeah. Andy One's manipulated that. I imagine he probably No, did. I don't think he has. But the idea that RT units can go into a, a computer and infiltrate it is is it's really good idea from Star Wars. Mm -hmm. It was from Star Wars, wasn't it? That art the yeah. RT units can do that. Yeah. It's it's pretty cool. And this scene is actually from the novelization of Star Wars. Mm. This part here where he logs into a power terminal instead of a um, data terminal. Mm. That's uh, actually in the novelization. Cool. Starting to smoke. Yeah, Chewie pulls him out. So they're evacuating, evacuating the city. I actually included that scene because that was uh, that slide there. Mm. That's not a lot of much talked about character. Uh, was he carrying there? If, well, we did, at the time, I think it was something like an ice cream maker, but I think they made it, it was such, it became a bit of a Star Wars legend, so the Mandalorian actually did, yeah, yeah. That's what the, his payment was in. <laughs> yeah. 
It's like a, yeah, it's a payment locker, isn't it? He's just saying, sod my kids, I'm just taking that. <laughs> he runs off. <laughs> and my wife, just leave them. <laughs> well, they uh, do ice cream. As we know from um, what Book of Boba, lasers and Wookiees, not a problem. Mm. Princess shoots both of them. Yeah. So there's a trying to escape. And then. Burn down, Vulcan. you thoughtless. Starts banging his head against the um, yeah. Vulcan, yeah, got, doesn't he? have got the money shot in there. Oh, uh, yeah. You see it. Leia, go. Dunk. Yeah. Good stuff. I thought that hairy piece would be the end of me. Remember <laughs> that line? <laughs> no, I'm not better. <laughs> Falcons away. And here we go. Back to Luke. Now we're getting to the business end of it now. Yeah. That was that made me jump in the cinema that bit. Just mm. comes out the side. It really made you scared of Vader, didn't it, this movie? Oh god, yeah. That kind of claustrophobic element. I love that Ben Bart just makes these things sing. Mm. Doesn't he? So yeah, sound effects are fantastic. Just, yeah. So it's the top like part of the score, the top bit there, um, where the bridge is, that was all real, but then everything else below it was a matte shot. Yeah, it's an incredibly well painted one, isn't it? I remember yeah. seeing the uh, seeing them painting it in. I just thought, mm. fucking hell, man, the work's gone into that. Yeah, you are beaten. It is useless to resist. Remember that line? <laughs> Don't let yourself be destroyed as Obi Wan did. did. <laughs> Can I have my lightsaber back, please? <laughs> Would you like to be yeah. a quarry? Yeah, excellent. God damn, look at that. So Luke has beaten his beat. I have that jacket he's wearing as well. But also, Darth. I mean, he gives he gives he gives one to Darth there, mate. Yeah, yeah I like, I like yeah, that. Surprised him there, didn't he? Cheeky yeah. swipe. Yeah. Oh, takes his hand off. And it's coming. This. There you go. Oh, that's what you get. <laughs> that's what you get. He was really surprised in the cinema. Um. Uh. uh the guy who did the Darth Vader voice. No, who was surprised? Is like, no, because on the set they didn't say those lines, did they? No, it was uh, uh, Obi Wan killed your father. Yeah, yeah, that was it. And then in the the uh, in the dark, yeah, Harrison Ford, Harrison Ford as well. He turned around to Mark Hamill and said, "You didn't tell me that, kid." <laughs> uh, in the chat, uh, Romeo, Romeo. Uh, this sequence is wonderful and terrible. You feel Vader's intensity. He's no longer playing around. Two hands on his weapon. He mercilessly beats Luke down. He does. Well, he's always serious, though, let's face it. <laughs> Even in the first one. Yeah, you never see him smiling. No, exactly. Uh, and Tim, I like saying this, Hannibal, great cinematic experience so you see that shot behind him that was that was a build but they did it in such a way that it looks like it's hundreds and thousands of miles away but it wasn't it was it was uh that's i think it was about 10 feet away from them so it really does it's a really good um a, a good scale model yeah all of that i love that bit when he takes off the uh the piece of the uh, the pile on there. Yeah. Luke rather die than join him. Yeah. yeah. Remember the What's special edition? Luke, you do not realize your importance. Yeah. 
you only dis- Ooh, the galaxy you know, begin to discover up. your training with a combined strength. Uh, uh, here you go. Here this, you go. This, New this, face, this. sandy trunks. And where did Luke's lightsaber go? Just lost or what? It he just went to Mas Kanata's it, castle, didn't it? <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> Yeah. It flew down the big shaft, didn't it? It just flew off. It basically got it just disappeared and Yeah. It's and, a good story for another time. Mm-hmm. And this is where it's just desperation now, isn't it? Mm. What's he saying? Search your feelings. Is that what he's saying? No, it to be true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, yeah, that's not the reveal yet. Reveal is yeah, yeah. Exactly. with our combined strength. He's trying to tempt him at this point. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll never, never join you. you. Mm. Well, I one never told you. Happened to your father. He told you me enough. Him. He told me you killed him. No. I <laughs> Welcome I'm to saying. narrating the film. On the, uh, <laughs> so what have we done for the last twenty minutes? Just now. Uh, Z, are oh, you shut down? Are you? No, I'm still here. I'm still here. <laughs> Do you like this scene? Oh yeah, it's so is the payoff be. great? Yeah, I was not expecting it. I don't think anybody was. Mm. Obi Wan never told you what happened. Somebody to said at the back. Somebody said at the back. Oh God, I can still remember it now. This black guy said, "Ask Clark Fucker." He said that when he <laughs> went <Darth Vader, laughs> <laughs> when Darth Vader said, "I am your father." There was this like, there was like this little silence. He went, "Ask Clark Fucker." <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. Oh, that's I went hilarious. out for a packet of cigarettes and never came back. <laughs> <laughs> I think my 14-year-old self didn't see this coming at all. Anybody? No, no. one did. No. Not did Vader. Mm. But it shows you his strength and determination. He's just rather yeah. taking Luke, himself yeah. in the game. Luke went for such such a, a, um, a horrible um, path, didn't he? But he ends up becoming go. the true hero, mm-hmm. unlike fucking yeah. Ray. <laughs> they didn't understand the concept of the hero's journey in those movies at no. all. Do you remember they added the scream to the special edition? Oh, God, please don't it remind me. Mentally took it away again. Yeah, God. thank God. Yeah. Why would he scream? That makes no sense. Yeah, no, stupid. He's on a he's on a little trolley there, you can tell. <laughs> so this is the, he's going the same journey as his hand and lightsaber would have gone on. Yeah. It's probably at the very, very bottom of the Shaft, probably. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, right there, he should have really gone. Oh, a hand. <laughs> uh, probably got sucked go. into another hole. Uh, Franco um, at Mr. Brown Lights. That's me. The way Vader said, I am your father, didn't fit. He should have said, I am your father. How did he say it, though? I can't remember. He said, No, I. I. Is that, that what he said? Yeah. Mm. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me you killed him. And so it does work. Yeah. Uh, and th- this was a great scene addition to see yeah. that Leia was force sensitive and picking him up. That was in the original. Yeah. Hmm. Was she picking him up in the original movie? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Which yeah. is the one that told him to turn back. I know we're oh, you mean the original right. version of Empire? So okay. the the, the yeah. clue, the clue is there is another one. That is the big clue. Isn't I, it? I remember when we were at school, kids did not want to believe it. I was like, "Nah, Princess Leia can't have the Force." I remember that. It's really there was a huge debate at school about this. Was it a master just, debate? Uh, you would have to say that, wouldn't you? Your mind is filthy. I know, are we? <laughs> I don't think well, this was a clue. Well, I think it ended up. Minutes. I think it ended up plain as a clue. Because you, the context, but the time it certainly wasn't supposed to be link. No, he, he didn't have that notion, did he? Until he yeah, well, I wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't Return of the Jedi, Jedi. Jedi but he, he calls for Ben first and Ben says, "I told you he wasn't going to help you." 
Uh, <laughs> Franco uh, Luke's <laughs> fucked up someone's TV reception. Oh, the aerial he's hanging off. Like uh, Melvin <laughs> is hanging off a sky dish. Yeah. yeah. I like that shot. Obviously, a model where the um, uh, the Millen Falcon thing opens, and you see um, you see uh, Lando's head just come up. You yeah. can see it's like a model. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before you even see it, it's quite fun. Is that a woman behind him? Looks like a woman. It does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could Probably be. is. Yeah. Yeah. First time I've seen a female Imperial officer. She Got has a woman's in. thighs. Yes. Nice hips. The waist. Yeah. Yeah. That was another change yeah. member of the Bring My Shuttle. Yeah. So oh, God. Yeah. My Star yeah. Destroyer to prepare yeah. for my arrival. And then they just nicked the clip from the third film when he came, when he comes out of it. That's the clip from the, the very first scene from the third movie, which is ridiculous. Oh, well, never yeah. mind. Um, space Walk, City Walk. Bring so they're going shuttle. back because um, Leia can feel Luke. Yeah. Detroit Walk City. There he is. <laughs> Open the hatch. And Should again, again, a de um, you know, a detail, you know, um, Lando has to use those things to open the hatch, the little hook things. Mm. The, like the tether line. Yeah. And and then you've got the inner airlock and the outer airlock. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just look inside the cockpit there. Yeah. Fucking hell. Fantastic. God, what a bunch of nerds we are. Yeah. Um, as I said, guys, if you want to watch this version, uh, go to the About page, click the uh, email, and uh, we'll sort it out, yeah. This is just a really nice little detail and a good addition to the ship, isn't it, really? It's got an, yeah. uh, uh, an external elevator. Uh, here you go. Here's a face we haven't seen in a long time. D. Oberg. Hello, D. Oberg. I remember speculation that Boba Fett was Luke's father. That is why Boba Fett missed when he shot at him back in Cloud City. I remember um, when um, the we dude's rule, mate. We had those cards, the Star Wars cards, and at the back of one of them, it said Darth Vader fell into a pit, and that's why he's he wears a mask because he's all burnt up. Obviously, Top we're trumps. making up as they went along. Yeah, we're making up as they went along, didn't they? Yeah, I remember that being featured in one of the books just maybe a couple of years before The Phantom Menace came out as well. Mm. Yeah. yeah, didn't Lucas state that their final confrontation was at a volcano? Mm. The uh, original concept idea for Boba Fett was the fact that he was supposed to be Darth Vader's brother, I think. Well, they're, they're, no, oh, it right. was, the design was meant to be the new Stormtrooper designs. Originally, yeah, but the character was yeah. Vader. Oh, Vader right. um, uh, sorry, Lucas uh, toyed with the idea of making him Vader's brother. Well, wow. Well. I so think Luke was hoping for another kiss there. Yeah. <laughs> Just a quick he did get he did get another kiss as well, didn't he? Uh, speaking of kisses, the uh, eighty four percent AIs are back in. Mm. We want hundred percent. Come back. Eighty-four percent is not very high, is it? Really? I'm no, not. it's ninety-nine at least. Never mm. tell me the odds. Mm. So they're trying to escape. They do. That's another desktop picture. Another one. Can you believe it? He's always uh, handling the pretty... here as well, hasn't he? This like strange kind of seal thing. Luke and his wrist. Luke, father. It's kind of strange how that revelation just changes the context mm. of the first movie. You can also always think of the first movie as a completely separate entity. <laughs> but he's yeah. not, Vader is not the father and not the sister. But if you, I, I kind if of you... prefer watching it both both different ways. I think you get things out of it. Sorry. If you, yeah, if you look at the, um, if you in include the prequels and include the, the the three movies, the first three movies, you'll realize that 
the whole thing is about Darth Vader. Mm-hmm. All of it. <laughs> I love this scene. Did your men deactivate the hyperdrive of the Millennium, Millennium Falcon, Falcon? Like Reva gave me the idea for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, that's a stream killer. Cheers, Zeke. <laughs> that guy looks really young, the one on the left. Yeah. The glasses, doesn't he? Well, he's only got yeah. four wanking pins on his badge. Yeah. Oh, four lozenges. <laughs> Did you say wanking or, or ranking? Uh, here you go. Not no, ranking. Time Prophet did. Luke, your days are over there, aren't they? <laughs> Oh, I start using my left hand. There's something uh, about this shot here that when he says good, you can almost see him saying the words. It's weird. Very strange. Mm. Good. I think I'm going to watch this tomorrow. Should have watched it today for the big and stream, Brun. Uh, <laughs> sho- shoveling <laughs> shit, mate. Shoveling <laughs> shit was my excuse. That cat lays some heavy dumps, doesn't it? Hmm. Um, silver leg, gold Pay leg. Attention to what you're doing. Right, we're getting yeah. towards the end now, folks. Mm. So they're trying to fix the hyperdrive, aren't they? You don't know anything about the hyperdrive on Millennium Falcon. <laughs> the city central computer, told you. Told you. Yeah. <laughs> R2D2, you know better than to trust a strange computer. <laughs> uh, there you go, Time Profit. He might watch it tomorrow as well, yeah. Make sure it's this version. Mm. Uh, Franco, uh, they get promoted quick. Darth keeps killing them. Mm. Um, seriously, they did spoil Darth Vader by showing us all that crap that they put. <sighs> Don't want to think about it anymore. He's just the ultimate badass, isn't he? Yeah. Just watching this again the other day, it just made me want to throw out all my other stuff and just pretend Luke. that these three films are the only ones that exist. As much as I enjoyed the prequels and stuff, it Luke. just <clears throat> takes you can't, away from me. You can't unsee them, can you? That's the problem. It's well, true. The prequels yeah. weren't as bad, although they have a lot of issues. Well, they really take away from the three films, but the definitely the sequels just death nail. Kennedy, you should be ashamed of yourself. Bob Chapek, ashamed. Igor, Johnson, not good. Bob, Bob Paycheck, he should be ashamed of himself. Took the paycheck, and they and keep doing. They just keep doing the same stuff over and over again. Um, we haven't mentioned it, but we will. Wakanda Forever is getting slated, isn't it? It's because it's not about the Proper money for these slated. people. It's a they, it's their religion. It's their, that's how crazy they are. Yeah, it's not. So, it's not just that. It's the fact they know that there's an installed user base and they can preach their 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 ideology to everybody. They know bullshit, there's an available too. audience. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, yeah, Kevin Smith posted a picture of himself crying earlier on because he watched. Oh, it. you're joking? No, you watched what? Oh. Wokanda forever. Woke and oh. oh, Kevin Smith is just a big letdown now, isn't he? Stupid oh. idiot. He's a stupid idiot. Never mind. Okay, we're getting to the walls the end now, folks. Look, Fada. Fada. Uh, here you go, Tim. I like saying this even at this time of night. Hannah Bomb, they have no creative heart. Evil cannot create, it can only destroy. Destroy. Absolutely. Uh, Time Profit, actually, if I watched Woke and or I would also cry. <laughs> yes. Um, here you go. Aftermath, Kevin Smith lost his soul with the weights. Yep. That ain't not Kevin Smith. wrong. You're not wrong, Aftermath. You're right, Ian. Exactly. Yeah. Acting, he's having a fart there. Oh, I'm gonna let one out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Ryan Johnson special edition. <laughs> so, this is where they're just about to activate the drive, isn't it? Yeah, because they're about to pull him in. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but they didn't need the drive because Darth Vader can literally pull something out of the sky. 
Yeah. The <laughs> Jedi Knights can actually do that, pull a ship with I mean, their mind. Um, silver leg and gold leg. Mm. I love this show. Ratu just uh, connects the wires. It's great. Chewbacca can do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm standing here in pieces and you're having delusions of grandeur. <laughs> There's some great lines in this film. Yeah. Oh my God. And then when he does it, he goes, you did it. <laughs> he falls. Um, I, my first love is Star Trek. But I do recognise this is just fantastic. Mm. It's right up there, isn't it, guys? I like um, uh, General sure. General. Is it General Viet? Is is panic on his yeah. face when that happens? <laughs> and Darth Vader just off. walks off. Panic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> walks Admiral off. Admiral Viet. Yeah. Just put a want to put a, a, a cloud bubble next to his head, don't you? With the word yeah. "fuck" written in it. Yeah. <laughs> he just he just does he gulp? He goes. <laughs> yeah. Darth yeah. Vader just, just just looks and then he just gives up, doesn't he? he just walks yeah. off. I'm, I'm not entirely sure if he would have survived this or not because Darth Vader doesn't off him immediately. No, but Darth Vader's so disappointed, isn't he, that he doesn't think of anything else. Just thinks of. It was the. Um... Oh, sorry. No, I was just saying that Darth Vader because it's his son, isn't he? So he, he obviously has a, has a soft spot for a Luke. It is proven in the third movie. So. Yeah. Uh, this guy gets a uh, a wing fighter in the face in the third one, doesn't he? He does, yeah, he does. He does. <laughs> Tries to get away. He shouts, yeah. "Too late!" and he jumps, and that was it. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Good scene. Yeah. Oh uh, well, let's fuck that up then. <laughs> come, come. Uh, I'm having a shot of Bushbills Irish whiskey in respect to all the veterans Remembrance Day, lest we forget to all my fellow veterans out there. Cheers. Mm, we hey. salute you, sir. Well, well said. The uh, the stuntman of YouTube. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> and he walks off. <laughs> yeah. I know everybody looks at him while he's walking off. They're all scared of him. Yeah, they go, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? Kenneth Coley is Admiral Piet, still going strong at 84 years of age. Yeah, he is. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my friend Ben worked with him recently. Yeah. He'll always be remembered for that role now. I can't think of, um, of Vader as Anakin at all, because I just think of Aiden Christensen and I can't yeah, yeah. see mm. Aiden Christensen as any kind of fear, fearful character. Vader, mm. I can, but not, 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 not to yeah. Christensen. So when he walks past and all those people like scared in the pit, looking up at him and I think of Hayden Christensen underneath the suit, I just think, nah, mm. nah sorry, but nah. It's funny. I remember seeing the first shot of the Phantom Menace and seeing Liam Neeson in the picture. I thought, Oh, they're going to have Liam Neeson's Anakin. What a great fucking choice. A great yeah. choice of acting. Yeah. Oops. Uh, nope. It's a shame, really. Oh, dear. In fact, I think I enjoyed Spaceballs more than the prequels, I think. <laughs> I did enjoy it more. Very silly, but... Would you like to see some Macquarie? Macquarie is up. Ooh. God, look at that. That's great. Beautiful. Look at that, we've got, folks. We've got A-Wings in Empire Strikes Back there. Oh, that's possible. I'm probably thinking that's probably Jedi then. That cruiser's definitely Jedi. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think there's, that, there's there's definitely not a Death Star in Empire Strikes Back. Okay. Because all I can see is little tiny thumbnails, so I could just see the shapes. Never mind. I fucked that one up. <laughs> mm. I I, I I I was always amazed of this shot, the ending when um, the medical ship goes away, and you see them standing near the window. And as mm. the ship flies away, you still yeah. see them in the window. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid thinking, "How the hell did they do that?" You know, that was you? the best of movie movie magic when you have that yeah. question, isn't it? Yeah, you're wondering how they did a certain scene. Mm. I fell in love with that Rebel transport design there on the I right. I think the spaceships here are just fantastic. Yeah, it's just all, 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 all good. Mm. 
Falcon. Yeah, and, um, and uh, what is it? Um, Lando's wearing Han Solo's clothes in this scene, isn't he? Yeah. For some oh, yeah. reason, I don't know why. There you go. I've what? stolen his ship. I've stolen what? his clothes. <laughs> I'm going to steal his peg. girl. Yeah. What was that? Off the peg. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, think about it. It might be Lando's original clothes. <laughs> So I've ah. been there forever. I was wearing Lando's clothes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ego, Sandy, Spaceballs is legend much better than all the Star Wars crap that followed. Yeah. yeah. Easily. Yeah. Dark Helmet. Never forget yeah. him. <laughs> what a wonderful set that is. Yeah. Wonderful set. Just that uh, pinnacle uh, white background. It was mm. great. Two women uh, in the back. Look at him. Z, you looking into space again? I am, yes. Thinking about Uncle Owen. <laughs> looking for Tatooine somewhere in the distance, knowing <laughs> that I will be back in his arms one day, caressing <laughs> his tight, sand, arms. tight sandy nipples. <laughs> <laughs> and that was Sorry. such a good effect as well. Yeah. yeah, he's got his uh, cracking one off and hand back, so all's good in the world. He can now wank off at triple the speed. Nuclear powered as well. Vibration function added. Nice one. Yeah. So what happened here then? He lost wiped it, cleaned. He lost his hand, so they must have cut it, the rest off at the elbow to fit this shit in. Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah. It kind of alters. It changes depending on what shot you see, how far oh, down okay. the arm. In oh, fact, yeah. one of them you can see is get his hand up his sleeve completely. Mm. Just when he falls and when he lands on the uh, the TV aerial at Cloud City. Yeah. In those days, they didn't have CGI. They couldn't make his hand. They can put a blue, you know, like a paint his hand blue and then get rid of it. They couldn't do that. Yeah. So. Mm. I can hear Williams thing yeah. going. I know, I, I, that was da, 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 da. What's Luke Everything. wearing? <laughs> it's a pajama. Uh, karate gi. Is he yeah, it's like kimono that he wore in his first thing. Isn't it? I'm not see dressing gowns, isn't it? Yeah, he's uh, back in the, outfit, yeah, the first film, isn't he? Uh, yeah. Bionic cracking one off, yes. He's like that. Prince Leia, don't worry. We'll find Han. But in the meantime... How about, a, how about a quick one in my quarters? I know you might be my sister, but, uh, well, you want to yeah. she looks amazing in every outfit in this film. Yeah, she did. Good. Young woman. Uh, Z, do you want to read this comment, please? Cam Cam's Crash Courses in the chat says, The power of the Schwartz, Z behind the moisture evaporator for the release. <laughs> yes, yes. I'll show you your Schwartz if you show me mine. Or, or, or something like that. I don't know. Um, I've had a half pint of vodka and I'm quite off my head right now. <laughs> now we are getting towards the end. I will say, guys, uh, we've only got a couple more slides to go. So everybody in the chats, um, I was about a mark out of 10. Um, and then we'll get the uh, panels marks out of 10 so uh, maybe a couple of seconds to think and then uh marks out of 10 for the empire strikes back has okay, anyone so... sorry there you go. no go on has anyone seen the lego star wars version of this scene no but luke's hand is like a it's clockwork it's like a set of false teeth at chatter and it keeps chatting <laughs> when he doesn't want it and then when he puts his hand on his on the shoulder at the very last scene, he takes his hand, he takes his arm away, and the hand still stuck to the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love the. Uh, we're going back a few years now, but they did a Star Wars Lego uh, before Star Wars Lego was even a thing. They did a Boba Fett um, stealing Han Solo and Carbonite from the Bespin Cloud City, and they were like trying to. It was like a big farcical backwards and forwards chase between Luke, Leia. Um, Chewy, Boba Fett, all trying to steal Han Solo and Carbonite, and they one of them gets it, and the other one loses it, and the other one catches it, and the other one gets it. It's, it's brilliant. Look that one up on YouTube if you can find it. It's really well done. My favourite is the Lego A New Hope, where uh, they're at the medal presentation ceremony, and C three PO drops Chewbacca's medal and smashes it in two, <laughs> <sighs> which is the reason he doesn't get one. 
that's some mighty fine spacecraft p o r n it is it's just fantastic it's that ending That's... isn't it? it really got everyone because it was like oh is that it oh no bloody hell can't wait for the next bit because it's clearly set up for the third film uh, they yeah. lost yes everybody lost the lost thing they lost we didn't you feel you don't did expect we... that though from a film back then you don't expect your heroes to lose at all this is they're the... supposed to come out blasting at the end and win yeah but and they that lost. didn't happen and i was like what the they've really got their asses kicked there you go there is mr lucas himself oh what is it okay so what, should we do some marks okay so uh Time Profit, 10. Dark Side of the Walk, 10. <laughs> Tim, I like to send this. Hannah Bomb, 9. Uh, Uninspired, 9. Need to rewatch. To... Yeah, it, it is a 10, mate, if you're feeling a bit generous. Uh, Several Palsy Biker, 10 out of 10. Uh, Melvin. Nine, almost flawless. Romeo, Romeo, ten. Is there any more? Franco, two out of ten. <sighs> no story. Wow, <laughs> that's what? brutal. That's brutal. But great set and acting. Uh, John Z, or is it John Z? Ten. Um, I think other than. Franco, I think high marks, which is understandable. Um, <sighs> it's a good film, okay? So, <clears throat> so panel, uh, marks out of 10, a uh, yeah, marks out of 10, and just maybe a, a, a final sentence or two, and then we'll uh, we'll get out of dodge. So, uh, let me remove that. So, from my screen, so Ian, do you want to go first? Mm -hmm. thoughts and a mark out of 10 please a very enjoyable movie when I was a kid I really loved it I still love it today um, I have it on DVD VHS and uh, Blu-ray I think I haven't seen the Blu-ray in ages but yeah uh, basically uh, almost a 9 out of 10 almost so that's what I'd give it nothing's perfect Almost. <laughs> mm. No, well, I mean, you know, to give something 10 out of 10 or 9 out of 10, it has to be incredibly outstanding. And I don't believe a film has actually reached that yet. So, but I, I, I do believe giving an 8 out of 10 or even a 9 out of 10 is a good mark as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, this is a, for me, a very, very solid 9. But, um, mm. swappers? Uh, yeah, solid 9 for me. Um, if not a 10, uh, I can't really fault it, if I'm honest. Uh, I just, no, no, there's nothing in this film. I mean, God, how many films can say that? that, that yeah, agreed. There's, 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 there's no glaring errors. There's no major problems. That you know, the, the worst thing you can say about it is the downbeat ending, but then that works for it. So yes. it's just perfection at every single quarter. Um, the, the production design, the, mu the, the music, the... The story, the script, the acting. My God, it's just got everything, this film. So, yeah, I'd give it a good, a very high nine. See? Nine out of ten for sure. The most amazing thing about this film is its rewatchability quality. It yes. doesn't matter how many times I can put this on, I will never get bored of watching exactly, this film. Yeah. And that's something that the sequel trilogy lacks in every sense of the word is they're instantly forgettable they're not memorable this is a classic and always will be uh still 42 years later still fantastic and brian i'm going to give it a nine and a half out of ten if that's allowed 
Well, so yeah, you produce you produce the show, so we'll we'll forgive you this once. Yeah, it's a wonderful movie. I think it's one of the finest of the twentieth century, and a personal favorite. I mean, I think it's everything that a Star Wars movie should be. I think it's fun, exciting, poignant, and I don't think anything has really come particularly close since, which is a bit of a shame. Mm. It is a shame. Um, you are not wrong. For me, again, as I always say, happy times, uh, VHS days. It was just there. I could watch it whenever I wanted. Come home from school, put Empire Strikes Back on. Just happy days. Just such a great film. I knew it was great at the time. I just, you know, 40 years down the line, it's just fantastic. So for me, a solid nine, possibly a nine and a half. I think maybe a nine and a half. Such a great film. So um, I think that is it, folks. Um, almost four hours today. Um, I think the halftime worked in our favour. We a little bit slow to get back into it again, but I think we got there in the end. So I will thank the chat and the lurkers. Uh, always great to see you guys. Uh, <coughs> A few new faces. Always great to see new faces. Um, and we do truly appreciate the interaction. Uh, we will see you next time. I will thank the guests. Ian, thank you, my friend. No worries, guys. No worries. Almost bedtime. Swappers, cheers, pal. Thank you. It's been great. Uh, Z, you can shut down for the night now. Shut it down, sir. <laughs> and today's show was produced by the wonderful Not Brian. Cheers, Brian. Thanks very much, Mr. Brown. Thanks to my fellow guests and the chat for sticking by us for so long. Can I also say just a quick rest in peace to the wonderful uh, Kevin Conroy? Absolutely. Yes. Sadly passed yes. away this week. Yes. Mm. Uh, uh, not, not the only Kevin to pass away this week. Uh, also, the legendary 2008 the artist Kevin oh. O'Neill. Yeah. Yes. Uh, also passed away this week. Shame. He's good art. He used to be nice. Very good eyes. <sighs> They're all going, aren't they? We all go in the end, unfortunately. I think yeah. that is it, folks. Um, I will say we'll be back tomorrow, but uh, I'm always knackered after doing these. So we'll do our best. If not, we'll definitely pop up on Monday. So uh, we'll do the musings, you know, the. Uh, the news of the week stuff tomorrow or Monday. So I think that is it. Um, it's Remembrance Day in the UK. So um, don't forget. I remember. <laughs> I think that is it. We'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Goodbye. Bye there. bye. <laughs>